Hey, what is up, exploring crew? You like how I did that? A little name change, everything like that. There's been some changes. Look at this. I got this uh, new little gorilla pod, Joby pod thing. So if my setup wasn't big enough already, it just got twice as big. Um, there's been a development. Last time you saw me, I was in a bigger room. Look at what they gave me now. For the same exact price of $180, you can get this nice luxury room. It's literally a bed in the smallest space possible. And a toilet. And then wait, the shower is right above the toilet. So you have to stand very close in there. This has been quite the morning trying to get around. It is very hard to walk in here with the suitcase out. Um, it's been a very interesting morning. Uh, today I'm going to explore with these guys. Uh, well, maybe one or two guys. One of them is from uh, the YouTube channel HK Urbex. He is a uh, as the name goes, an urbexer here in Hong Kong. He's gonna show me some cool places today, so I'm gonna vlog a little bit of that. I'm trying to do the whole daily vlogging thing. Um, but first, I have to figure out, I don't know, I know in some other countries, they, uh, the, the water in there is not good to brush your teeth with. Can you brush your teeth with the sink water in Hong Kong? According to the Water Supplies Department, Hong Kong enjoys one of the safest water supplies in the world. Okay. Looks good to me. Hi boys and girls, we're out of here. So last night I was actually feeling a little bit sore from carrying around this big backpack. Like it's a super heavy backpack and I carry it around all the time. And so my back was feeling a little bit sore. So I went to this massage place. I was like, oh great, I'll get a back massage. It'll be all better. I decided to try out the Chinese acupuncture massage. I cannot tell you how excruciatingly painful this massage was. This is probably the most painful massage I've ever gotten. I was sitting there like tensing my fist the whole time. The guy doesn't speak English. So I'm like, I'm, like, I'm just sitting there in pain for like 50 minutes. And I can still feel it today. I don't know if it's like eventually gonna be like better, but like my back is still sore today. Like it hurts even more probably. Circle K. The breakfast of champions. So I should also add that I do not currently have a hotel for tonight. So that could be an issue later on today. I'll have to see how that goes. There it is. Across the river. And we're gonna get across there somehow. You just fell through a well. <laughs> Dude, that was a... Uh, that was almost... A few inches from a really bad day. Like, you okay? I wanna yeah. tell your wife. <sighs> the bugs all over me. Can you take my phone for a second? Yeah. I'm good. <sighs> I hope you put that on camera now. I didn't catch the fall, sadly, no. No, uh, just the recovery. Just the recovery. Yeah, I'm good. No bleeding. So we got to this place which we thought was an old like medicine place. Turns out it's an old spirit place which is for wine and like hard alcohols and stuff like that. Um, the owner who is over here, <laughs> or he's not the owner, he just lives across here. We just walked up and he, he said yeah go check it out. It's for like all this old wine and it used to be like a liquor distributor or something like that. So uh, I guess there's just a bunch of old barrels in here we're gonna go check out. It's very dark. I don't know who that is, but it's, um, you can see how it's facing the door. Yeah. That's where it comes right. Oh, that makes sense. So it's, uh, there's sort of an excess for the good luck and everything. Yeah, yeah. But that's ancient. That's probably, I'm guessing that's an original from the place. So guys, today I'm with the Explorers Pripyat right here and Ghost from HK Airbus. I don't know where he went, but he's around here. And uh, we're just doing some urban exploring today. Whoa! Oh, there he is. What's up, man? What up? I can see you in my selfie mode. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Look at this whole area. It smells like wine. You can smell the... Oh, you're right. Yeah, you, you can smell it. The, the fermentation. Oh, so right. wait, so this... Whoa. So they probably fermented all shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. You just opened it? Uh, it's, I was gonna say, is it still drinkable? Hell no. Oh, oh. You can smell it though. Okay, this is some it's fine. It's nasty. It's, it's kind of interesting looking at all of them in a row here, in this dark building. 
It almost looks like those, uh, you know, in those old Chinese movies with the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see Jackie Chan breaking the pots and using the shards yeah. and kicking them. Through I think of it as like Chinese gunpowder. That's what it almost looks like. An abandoned. I don't think I've ever been to an ab anything like this that was abandoned. Yeah. Imagine just having these pots. This is like Link's dream from Legend of Zelda to just be in this room. <laughs> yeah, everything opens to rupees. This one's the only one where you can really see a pattern. Is that like a dragon? Yeah, it kind of looks like a dragon. A dragon. You can that? tell how these... Okay, I'm going to be a bit naughty. <laughs> Keep going, Andrew. <laughs> Uncovering one. history. It's one of those black masks that people do from beauty masks. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think this black stuff is? That is a good looks question. looks like tar. Uh... <sighs> You know what? I was gonna say it might be mold, but uh, it's caked on. It looks like it's yeah, mold doesn't. It's all, it looks like it's been kind of. Um, they cover it uh, maybe for insulation. It's like maybe mud or something. Mm. I mean, otherwise, why would? In the second room now, and you guessed it. There's even more pots. Oh, look at this! You can see these. Uh, these tubes that are run along the wall and it goes into each pot and all the tubes are connecting from over here. I'm guessing there was, I don't know what it would be here, but something is connected to all of these pots down here. I just wonder why there's like the, this women's clothing here. I love this. I love that. Some people who know how to live. It's like there's a color. Maybe it's just that guy's like storage shed who lives across the road. Oh yeah, look at that. It says 1964 on it. So what is this? Jesus. Yeah. This generator was either built in or put in here in 1964. Some, some kind of kiln, so they would have put fire in here. Yeah, and that was probably the uh, chimney right there. Right? Word. Yeah. Oh, is this how you get upstairs? Oh, yes. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah. This is insane. Yeah, man. This is amazing. This is one of my favorite places since, um, since Shaw Brothers, man. Yeah, this is really cool. This is a good shot. Yeah. They're put into lots. So this is lot number 36 right here. Oh, what? Jars 2,321 to 2,360. Oh, okay, now. And there's the guy who let us in here. Or not let us in, but just said, yeah, go in. <laughs> he lives right there across the road. There are a lot of pots. Oh my. Okay, so we're now on the roof. They're just running out of space to put these things. They just throw them on the roof. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They just, just put them somewhere. Just up too many pots. Here you can see the, the greener side of Hong Kong now. You know, you can see the mountains, the, the trees everywhere. Over here you can see couple more buildings, a couple little village towns, or village houses. This is kind of interesting because there's a stairway right here. There's a, st there's a staircase and it just goes off the edge of the building. Maybe there was a bridge here before? I think it's just kind of interesting. This stairway, yeah it's literally the stairway to heaven. All right, so that was the uh, the wine spirits, whatever you want to call it, 
house, factory, abandoned building, whatever you say. Uh, it was pretty cool seeing those pots in there and uh, definitely like the old, the old infrastructure of like how they made this wine. Uh, if you guys are not already subscribed, go check out HK Urbex. I'll have their link down below in the little uh, circle icon for you to subscribe. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And uh, that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.